And then I've done logistics on you know, arranging big events in different foreign countries. And is there a funny story from DR? Because it, it was a great concert, but I, I'm confident there are many rough edges that were surprising. Oh, about the about setting up the production in the in the Dominican Republic. You're never going to see how the ducks' feet are frantically paddling out of the water. <laughs> Everything was wonderful and could not have gone smoother. Actually, the the funniest story I think we have is from we do a site inspection of the cruise, but we also do one for the land concert. So we actually came down with our team to Santa Domingo to meet with uh, it's called a DMC, you, you know, a destination management company that were our people on the ground. So we were staying in an Airbnb just out of the tourist zone. And on our way back from the concert venue, a dog came up to us. This is about a mile walk. About, about a mile from the Airbnb. Nice little dog. And we're like, oh, that's a nice dog. Snaggletooth. Snaggletooth dog, street dog. And we kept going, and it would walk out in front of us and like snap at anyone who was within like an eight foot radius <laughs> and this he was just pacing us and he would sort of walk a few steps and look back make sure we we're still there and there and then he'd sort of fall behind and then amongst us on patrol yeah he was better at crossing the, the street than we were <laughs> all the way one mile to the airbnb saw us all the way safely at which point he was rewarded with chicken and i have heard that that dog was in the square during yeah, the concert. He was. Oh, welcome back, fellas. Uh, on, on, the, on the site inspection, we, we named him Hal, Hal the dog. And he was absolutely in the square, and I saw numerous. He, he has a collar now, which he did not have when we saw him. Uh, and he was just there in the square, and I saw many people giving him scritches. I'm sure he had more than his share of uh, leftover mofongo from people. He remembered Tara. Yeah. yeah, he remembered yeah. Tara. He was he was defeating, he was protecting Tara by marking it too much. In fact, when Drew and I came back to the ship after the concert, he was standing down by the cruise port, just standing on patrol. And, and yeah, that's that's our favorite little. All of which is to say, not only did nothing go off the rails, we even had the dogs of Santa Domingo in our favor this year. <laughs> And the dogs of Santa Domingo is my Santana cover band. <laughs> there was a, another fun story, which I shared with the ship yesterday. Um, we did have, or at least my favorite thing was I, I was speaking to the security at the uh, at one of the VIP seating areas by the stage, and, and the sea monkey had become very upset with them because they would not allow uh, the, the sea monkey to come in and uh, catch a Pokemon. <laughs> oh, and the configuration of the square changed like every day just because of the permitting process. That was a thing that was like, well, I don't know, that's heads up at the stage on the other side. It wasn't quite that extreme, but there were a lot of changes.